Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna look at some new makeup. More specifically, we're gonna be looking at the Leora and Ofra collaboration that recently released, as well as the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. Ah, it is gorgeous. So if you're interested in seeing how they applied, what my thoughts are, and overall details on the products, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so Leora recently announced that she was collaborating with Ofra. This year, Ofra, um, I think, picked five influencers or content creators to collaborate with, and she was one of the chosen ones. And I mean, with good reason. She is just absolutely a sweetheart. She works really, really hard here on YouTube. I think she's close to 100,000 or just past, but she's doing really, really well. But I just think more than anything, her genuine excitement and giddiness over all things makeup and beauty really does come through in her videos, and that's what everyone is mostly attracted to. Um, she's also very knowledgeable, and so, uh, you could definitely see that in this beautiful palette that she curated with Ofra. Those are the shades there. I think she did a really beautiful job of uh, curating the colors for fall specifically, and so I saw it like, duh, there's green in the palette. I'm instantly interested. But then when she talked about them and then just knowing the quality and products from Ofra, I definitely wanted to try them but also support her because I want this collection to sell out time and time again. She deserves it. We're gonna be looking at this palette. The palette retails for $29 and you get five shades. Um, these here in the middle just scream fall to me as well as the green, um, but really, really beautiful. These are mattes and these are shimmers here on the end. And this one is also a highlighter that is part of the um, normal Ofra collection, so I thought that was really smart. I think if we're looking at versatility of the palette, obviously you can create a lot of different beautiful looks with it, but these shades, this shade in the middle specifically, can also, in my opinion, serve as a blush. And then you've got your highlighter, your eyeshadows. So versatility of the palette is definitely there. Again, retails for $29. Now, along with the products that she curated, she also did come out with a lip duo. These are not new shades to Ofra, but they're just part of her curated collection. And the matte liquid lipstick that she created was um, in the shade Brooklyn, which is so funny because that's the area she's from. And then just a clear gloss. I can tell you that when I saw the clear gloss, I was like, oh my God, that's so smart. Like I have a couple clear glosses, but they both have like gold specks in them, so they're not really, really clear. Um, but this is just clear, so it goes over any different, any color that you'd like. This lip duo that she curated, I love. It's $25, and again, it comes with both the gloss and the liquid lipstick, which I think that's like a really, I think that's what Ofra's known for. Like when I think Ofra, I think of liquid matte lipsticks and I think of highlighters and they just do them very, very well. The other thing that she recommended during her announcement video was this shade that she loves, Fussy. So I thought I'd try it out um, just to have something lighter to go with this darker fall look. Um, here are the swatches of those lipsticks. So this is in the shade Brooklyn and this is Fussy. One of the things that I like about the Ofra Matte Liquid Lipstick uh, formula is that even when it dries down, it's very comfortable. You don't get it pilled up in this area here and it lasts a decent amount of time. And so I do love that. Um, this lipstick retails for $19. So a huge congratulations to Leora. I think that um, she's just super, super smart and I think she deserves all the success and you know, she's sweet. Like I wanna see nice people win, you know? The next thing that we're gonna look at is the Charlotte Tilbury Highlighter. This is the Superstar Glow All Over Body Highlighter for a focused glow is what they call it. And it's so beautiful. It has the same packaging as the bronzer that was released earlier this year. So same size as you can see there. It's really, really beautiful and I, Really, really enjoy. I, I enjoyed applying it later in the video, but it's it's a very pretty color. Now, right before I started my channel, I think I've shared this before. I did a declutter, and um, you know, after I started my channel, I quickly accumulated a lot of makeup. So I always like to compare it to what I already have in my collection to see like 
Was it truly necessary? Was it not? I can tell you that first of all, this thing glides on like butter. You swatch it, feels like butter. You apply it, it's there as you can see. I mean, it just becomes one with the skin. It melds in very, very nicely. And so here, let me give you a quick swatch on this. And that's what it looks like there. Absolutely stunning. I think it does, it does really, really well. It has like a champagne, like a true champagne shift to it, which I love. And then when I was thinking about it, I said, hey, I'll swatch the palette in just a minute, but I wanted to swatch the highlighter in the palette since it is there. And it is a highlighter that you can purchase separately with Ofra. And I wanna compare it. And this one looks to have more of a pinky shift. I don't know if you guys can tell there, but this is like a true champagne. Charlotte Tilbury, this has a little bit of a pinky shift. There you go. And then I started thinking, well, what are the two go-to highlighters in my collection or highlighters that I love? And although I love the Chantecaille, I use that a lot. Um, for a very long time, my go-to and my holy grail was the cookie highlighter from Benefit. And so I wanted to swatch it compared to that and see what we get. This one's a little more icy, more frosty. It has more of a white shift. So we have a true champagne, not really golden, but champagne. Then we have a little bit of a pinky shift with the one in the palette. And then this is Cookie from Benefit. And then I also pulled out uh, one of my favorite highlighters from the drugstore. And I've talked about this palette quite a bit, but it's the e.l.f. Glow Gleam Beam Palette. And in this palette, my go-to is this one here. So let me swatch compared to that. I've never done this before and swatched Cookie and Elf next to it, but I think we just found a drugstore dupe for Cookie. That's the Elf one. Do you guys see? It's literally like an exact dupe. Wow. So we have Charlotte Tilbury. We have Ofra from the palette. We have Cookie from Benefit. And then this is the Elf highlighter. Those two are exactly the same, you guys. Dupe alert, dupe alert, just saying. I'm happy to say that I didn't have another highlighter with that shift in my collection. So I think that um, if we're rating it that way, like I, I did need it. I needed this highlighter, right? Um, so I'm happy to have that. I also wanna start swatching the palette for you. So we're gonna start from the highlighter and then work our way through. I'm sorry if I'm blinding you guys. Um, so I'll just swatch the highlighter again, but it's so pretty. And those are the swatches for the eyeshadow palette. We start with the highlighter in the name Blissful. Then we go on to Bright Yellow, that's what it's called. The next one is called Bittersweet, this pinky peachy one, the one that I think could also double as a blush, I love that. Then we have Raisin, which is this brownie tone shade here. And then we have Chill Pill, which is the green. Now, they do look pretty good on camera right now to me. I can tell you that in person, they swatch really, really light, but when you're using them on the eyes, they're extremely pigmented, which you will see in the demonstration portion of the video. Um, but I just thought that was interesting, and that's why they always say, like, don't always just rely on the swatches. Like, we ha they have to perform well on the eyes, which is where we're gonna wear them. So, just wanted to show you what those look like. Again, really, really beautiful fall-like shades. I'm going to show you two different looks. One is a more toned down, lighter look because I am going to be demonstrating this Brooklyn liquid lipstick that I'm really excited about. And then I will also be showing you how I created this look. I essentially followed the tutorial that Leora did in her announcement video. And so that's also really good to note because I'm a normal person, like I'm not as experienced with makeup as other people. And so I wanna be able to follow the tutorial or follow someone and be able to recreate the look myself. Like that's really important to me. So I was happy to be able to do that. Um, right now I have the second look and then I'm wearing Fussy, which I absolutely love. I think it's cool. I went in with my Pat McGrath contour liner first and then I just tossed this on top. So I think that looks really good. Let's get started into the demo portion of this video and then I'll come back with my final thoughts.
Okay, and here's the finished look, kinda. Now we have a new product, the product. Look at that gorgeousness. And there is the swatch. It's a very pointed and focused brush. Gorgeous. You guys see that? Oh my goodness. And it's like totally like, like in person it looks very wearable and just, just stunning. But it could totally be like amped up to the next level for a blinding highlight. But I guess what's most unique and I, you know, with the bronzer as well is you almost can't like overdo it almost. Like it just glides on like butter and it just works so well. The chin, let's do a little bit on the chin. Cause like, why not? This is so pretty you guys, look at that. It's like you're looking at me and I look a little glowy, but then when I go here, bam. Whew, it is gorgeous. I, was, I hope that I was able to give you some inspo on some looks to create with this palette. Again, I think it's a really perfectly curated palette. I think that Leora is just super, super smart. She's a smart cookie and um, I think she did a great job. I think she deserves success. Um, overall, I think that the palette is priced well. You get five shades for $29. Um, this liquid lipstick and gloss, well, the liquid lipstick mostly will last you quite a bit, but $25, I think it's well priced. And then this fussy shade, it's $19 and I could see myself going through it very quickly. So, you know, a little bit of a pricier liquid lip, but I'm still happy to have it. This highlighter, I showed you guys the swatches. Obviously, I didn't have anything like this in my collection, so I'm happy that I was able to show it to you. You know, this can definitely build, be built up to a more pop-in highlight or a lit from within glow, which is really important. And, I mean, it's Charlotte Tilbury powder. Like, can you say more? I feel like in regards to Hourglass and Charlotte Tilbury, they just do powders so well, and so I'm really happy to have this. You know, is it a must go run out and buy today? No. The, you know, the holidays are coming, so like, treat yourself. Or the Sephora VIB sale is coming where you get 10, 15, or 20% off, so maybe wait for that. Um, but it's definitely beautiful. It will last you forever. And if you're one of those that likes to highlight like the collarbone or like the shoulder area a little bit, maybe for holiday parties or whatever's coming up, um, summer next year, this is gonna be a perfect highlighter for that as well. So happy to have that. Leave me your thoughts down below. What did you think about the Leora collection? Uh, I think it's perfect. I, it's perfect. I love how pigmented the green is and I think she did a really great job. So Leora, if you're watching, congratulations, baby girl. You are so, so sweet. You deserve this and you deserve so much more. And I know that there's a lot more coming from you for us. So. Definitely excited for you and your collaboration. I think Ofra so smart for doing it. Um, so yeah, great job. I recently did a video on my 2020 Christmas wish list for beauty, so I'll leave it up here so you guys can check it out. Definitely let me know what holiday collections are really speaking to you, like which ones do you love, do you not, so that I can run out and get those and review them for you before you go out and buy them. I would be so happy to do that, so leave me some suggestions down below. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you like what you see, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future uploads. I will be having a giveaway on Sunday for um, a really, really beautiful highlighting bronzing blush palette with some lipstick, so go check me out on Instagram for all the details on that. Um, make sure and subscribe if you haven't done so. I will see you guys next time. Bye!